Tinybird is the fastest way to build real-time and user-facing analytics APIs from end-to-end. -end. But until today, you had to build visualizations over your APIs yourself. Not anymore. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to build visualizations using Tinybird's new chart builder. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in VS Code and I'm just going to show you what my app looks like right now. So I've got a couple of placeholders and a basic grid layout. So I've got a spot for chart one and for chart two. So I'll just close that and we'll get started with our first chart. So I'm going to add a new pipe in the Tinybird UI and it's just going to be a basic piece of SQL and I'm going to select airline and the count I'll call that bookings and I'll group that by the airline and order it by the bookings great so we'll limit the five so I've basically got the top five uh, airlines by booking volume I'm going to call this pipe top airlines and I'll just name my node endpoint and then I'll turn that into an API endpoint. So now what I can do is I can go to charts and I can add a new chart. I'm going to call this top airlines and I'm going to want this to be a bar list. Now I'm going to go to the data tab and I'm going to select my index of the airlines and bookings as my categories. So that's my chart done. And I'll hit save and then it's going to auto generate the code for me. So it's going to give me two things. It's going to give me the uh, npm install to install the dependencies and the React components that I'll, I'll need. So I'm going to copy that, come back to VS Code, and paste that in so I can install my dependencies. That's done. And I'm going to go back to the Tinybird UI. And I'm going to copy the React component. And now I need to add a new component to my app. So I'm going to add a new file under my components directory. And I'm going to call that top airlines. And then I'm just going to paste in the code that I copied out of Tinybird. I'm going to save that and come back to my main. And then I'm going to get rid of my chart one placeholder. I'm just going to start typing in the top airlines. And I'm just going to rely on the autocomplete to uh, bring the import in for me. So if I give that a save, I should be able to just run my app now and go back to the preview and once that loads there we go I have my first chart so I've gotten rid of that little chart one placeholder and now I've got my first uh, bar list showing the top five uh, airlines by booking volume so now I need my second chart so I'm going to use a pipe that I've already created uh, but doesn't have a chart yet so I'm going to go through and add a new chart and for this one I want a pie chart and this is for my meal choices so I've got meal choices and meal choice is going to be my index uh, category total and I want to show my legend because that looks nice I'll save that and again I don't need to install my dependencies again but I'll copy this come back to my app add a new file for in my components call that meal choices as well paste that in save it exactly the same replace my placeholder with meal choices, it'll import it for me. And I'm gonna go back to my preview. And now I have both my charts. 